my photo booth. Um, I promised y'all this on the pro forum. I figured now was as good a time as any. I'm going to just go ahead and run through it one time. Come around this way, Doug. Notice the screen. On the screen, you can see me on the screen. It says position yourself in the middle, ready, four photos, four seconds apart. Hit the switch to your left once and look at the camera. So, here we go. I'm going to hit the switch. It said counts down, three seconds, two seconds, make a funny face. Boom, it takes the first picture. It gives me a preview of the picture. It gives me two seconds, three seconds, four, one second, look at the camera. And it takes another picture, all right? One more, uh, two more pictures to go. Make another pose, maybe one with my hand right here. Look at the camera. All right, and of course, this is the last one. Takes four shots, just like a regular photo booth. Uh... All right, now, as soon as it takes the last photo, what it does is it then sends that message to the printer, and in approximately 15, 16, 16 seconds, it comes out of the printer, all right? And so the printer's humming at this point, and um, here it comes. This is, I'm going to have on the pro forum the specs for everything that you see here, a complete detailed list of everything that I'm using to make this entire photo book work. Here we go. And boom, it prints it out. Now it's got the name of the next little party that I'm have, Haley's Graduation Party 2010. It duplicates the things, of course, to make it like a photo booth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it right down the middle, just like that, and I have a photo booth to, uh, images. Approximately, the approximate cost, I think, again, I haven't put perfectly numbers, pencil to paper and everything, but I think these cost you about six or eight cents a piece. I mean, when you order the four by six size, you get, I mean, two, a box with two rolls in it, and each one of them print, I mean, just hundreds of images, and it's very, very inexpensive. So this is a great little promotion. I'm also talk about that on the Pro Forum. So let's go through all the components, what it takes to make this photo booth work. Well, to me, it starts out, you gotta have some kind of a booth. And all I did was I took an easy up tent. You can get them from Walmart. You can get them from various uh, um, sports type uh, stores and things of this sort. But it's a pop up easy up tent. But it had a, a middle section. And I unscrewed all the bolts and just took the middle section out so I have an outside rim. Then I hung up some Denny Freedom cloth because it doesn't wrinkle. It packs easy. It has a good look to it. Um, it just stretches right across, very simple. I took an old prop from the studio, which was an old plastic collar, and this device running through the middle of it is called a stealth switch. Again, I'm gonna give you the site where you can get all this different stuff. The stealth switch acts like a mouse, except all it does is click. The use of a stealth switch is kind of a hidden thing, like you're supposed to put it down underneath your desk, install the stealth software. When the boss walks by, you hit the stealth switch, it looks like you're working, and it keeps your game that's playing in the background saved. Then when he, when he passes you up, you hit the stealth switch again, and you go back to playing your game. That's the purpose of a stealth switch, but of course, all we use it for is a single click mouse. It, it has no mouse, it just clicks, and you plug it into the USB port. Now, I don't know if you can see this down here, but I have some USB extension cables that I got from Best Buy that then connect to the, to the uh, laptop. The camera is the Canon G10 that I'm using. I have a pocket wizard telling the flash, which is just one of my studio flashes with a, with a halo light on the top of it, and a, and a stand. Just a recycled uh, monitor is all I have right here um, on top of a, a table and a camera bag. The uh, compute, I mean, excuse me, the printer is a Sony Digital Photo Printer UP-CX1. Again, I'll have all these specs on the, on the Pro Forum. It'll print up to a 5x7 as a die sub, but I'm using it to print 4x6s. The computer is nothing more than one of those cheap $399 computers you can get. It's an Acer's computer that you can get from um, like Office Depot, uh, Best Buy, all the different places. It's a very inexpensive computer and the software is called PS Remote. I think PS Remote costs uh, around $99 or $129 or something like that. Again, I'm going to have the links on the ProForm to all the different components so as to make this thing work. Well, once you start the PS Remote software, 
it basically does what you saw just happen. Those are all the components that make this entire system work. My thinking on this little thing is I'm going to use it. First, I'm going to set it up at the studio, and that way anybody who comes for senior portraits can have their free photo booth picture taken. Everybody loves a photo booth. But my thinking on this is to use this in such a way as to go to the schools and say, listen, how would you like to have a free photo booth at your prom or one of your dances? Then what that would do is that would allow me to say the next thing that, look, uh, you can have it free this year, but next year I'm going to need at least 20 or 25 or 30 or whatever number I want seniors from your school if you would like to have one of my free to use my free photo booth. So that's my thinking as far as how to get the photo booth to be a, a, a promotional type thing. I've talked to multiple seniors about this last year and a couple this year and everyone thinks it's a fantastic idea. Um, next thing, I, I use it in a couple of weeks at a graduation party. We'll see how well it works. I'll maybe shoot a couple of videos for y'all at the graduation party. I'll for sure take a couple of stills to show you what everybody did. So anyway, the only thing missing, the only component to me that's missing from this setup right now, I have this set up at my, my home in the, the little pool house area where we have a pro forum get together. This is the house room we use. But the only element that's missing is for it to be like a booth. And I just didn't feel like setting up all the little different muslins. So what I'm gonna do when I actually set it up as a booth is I'm gonna have some of my loose muslins that I use and I'm just gonna clamp them Using maybe one of these, uh, some of these little clamps, I'm gonna just clamp them all the way around the booth, and then leave a little opening here to where they would open it, walk into the booth, and then they would close, and it's like you kind of private in a little booth. So that's it, gang. That's the photo booth. You've seen it literally work in action. Um, let me go and put all the components together, and let me know if you get one and how does it work, and we'll all share ideas and market on this thing and make a bunch of money.